Um, so my first question is, how do you see the relationship between arts and tax wisdom? Oh, I think, um, um, I think for me, like, my, my art has been activism from right, you know, uh, right at the beginning. My, my family do not approve of what I do, they don't like all these performances, I do it all in secret, and I've been doing since like 2013. Um, so I guess in that sense it is activism because I know for me it's like opening up the doors for like my little sister. Or the girl, I'm the first in my family to, to pursue an arts career and everyone's like, ah, oh, what you doing? This world ain't for us and it's like, I'm going to make it for us. So there we go, that's, yeah. I think um, when we say arts, I, I've always had this feeling that almost everything in the world is is arts you know from the um from the birds singing in the morning or the way your coffee is spilled over the counter and when i think about relating it to activism or its relationship to activism i've um i've always i've always thought of um the quote by one of my most favorite poets Li young Li. Um, he said in one of his interviews that some poets they write out of grievance, uh, which which works really, um, and could work for so many for so many years or whatever. But um, I think, and he thinks that I mean he thinks that it's quite difficult to write out of grievance. And poets really should write out of grief rather than grievance. And um, if we're writing out of grievance, it's it, it could be quite blaring, you know. It's moaning. It's saying, "Oh, the world is such a bad place." But without, if we're writing out of grief, it's like opening. I guess how I interpret it is, it's like opening yourself to the world, your vulnerabilities to the world. And I think that only when you can actually open your vulnerabilities to the world only then that you could allow the listener or the reader of your poems to 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 feel empathy and i think that's really that that's the that's the force that would propel through activism that if we, we learn to understand other people's grief or other people's difficulties then whatever it is that they're doing activism on would would Coming to for cheap, for cheap. I can't. I can't. I can't, um, I can't pronounce it. How do you say it? Fruition. 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 <laughs> you get what I mean. And then the next question is: What are some of the current you know, issues that you're thinking about um, surrounding um, about gender? Ooh, around gender, I, I write. I write a lot about, um, I guess, issues affecting women anyway, and about. My, ident my personal identity as a woman and why I do identify as a woman despite hating it most of the time. Um, yeah, it's, it's still an interesting one that I'm still exploring and, and also just understanding other genders better as well. Like, um, and yeah, I think that's, that's just a lot of what I'm doing in my writing at the moment anyway and have been focusing for quite a long time. And I still haven't found answers to the whole book later, and still no answers. So, yeah, it's an ongoing exploration for me. So, what's the question again? <laughs> I'm just, I was just listening to her. <laughs> <laughs> what's the question again? So, any kind of um, current things that you're thinking about to do with gender? So, I, whether like politically yeah. or personally? I think, um, as a society, we've kind of advanced on. Um, shedding light on how other genders, uh, women and binary, make a society and help the society to, to, to become, to, for, for it to be whole and to function. Personally, when I was writing my poems, looking back to it now, I realized that, oh yeah, this is about, there's some kind of feminism element to it. But when I was writing my poems, I didn't really think of that. Um, I guess what I thought first was 
was really how I've seen my mother, you know, sacrifice um, for, for the betterment of the family. But then, as I was exploring the themes of homesickness um, and mother and daughter relationship, I've also come to explore how women or migrant women have always been the ones who are working in the background, you know. Some of their names will probably never know. And I feel like in my work at the moment, that's what I want to do. I want to shed light on their faces because their faces might not even feel a spotlight. <laughs> so I guess it's for them, but it's not something that I have, I have intentionally done. And I think as a poet, I've always believed that if we write something true to our self or to our hearts, some kind of authenticity in there, um, something good will come out of it. And I think that's the journey that, that has been for me so far. Um, so uh, we haven't got too much time allocated for the Q&A, but if anyone does have any burning questions, now is the time to raise your hand. Yeah. Uh, have you ever written things that you know are too dark or too painful to read? So you've written them and you've tucked away somewhere that you know you'll never be able to stand up and you never get it. Um, my hearing is really bad on the so have you ever written something that you just been too painful for you to be able to read out? Or dark. Like, like, or dark. Oh, away. Um, Actually, in, in my book, um, whenever, I, whenever I do performances, I tend to read the same poems over and over again because it's funny because what other people might, what I might perceive as dark, the audience might perceive this as like, oh, that's just like a casual, you know, there's nothing there basically. Whereas I've got the entire context behind that poem and in that situation that I'm talking about in the poem, or yeah, I've got the entire context. So to you, it might just sound like a funny little thing I've written, and I'm just there like, oh, I'm gonna break down inside. Um, so yeah, it's, it's how you perceive that darkness as well. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of poems in my book that I don't think I'll ever read out aloud because it, it, you know, there's some of them really tiny ones as well that people are like, oh, I can't even read that out. Uh, that's just a little one about coffee or something. No, 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 no. <laughs> um, yeah, there, yeah, there definitely are some that are way too painful to read out to perform. And also, I think I have a responsibility to myself as well when I'm performing to keep myself well and safe, and also to keep the audience well and safe. Because like, if I start breaking down on stage, that ain't gonna look good, is it? <laughs> so, yeah. I think, um, yes, I think I really agree with um, Nafisa. Um, I think to write something dark is very normal and it's very natural for us, especially if we are exploring the deepest part of ourselves as, as a human being. Um, like what Nafisa said, I, I tend to, there's this one poem in my forthcoming collection and my editor said, okay, this would be the, what do you call it, the middle, the middle poem, the mid poem. Center poem. <laughs> Center poem. I said, oh, I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read it once the book is out. But every time I practice it or I edit it, at this particular part, I kind of like feel sad in theory, even though it's not about me. <laughs> it's about something else. And I think, like what Nafisa was saying, for me the rule is I just have to be kind to myself and to my listeners as well, because I don't want them to go, oh my god, she's crying. So <laughs> awkward. <laughs> I don't want that. <laughs> so yeah, but I think it's not, it's normal, and there's nothing wrong about writing dark things. Um, any more questions? Um, do we have time for a break, or we go? Uh, we do have time for a break. We're going to make time for a break. Okay. <laughs> We're going to have a very short, like, snappy five-minute break, maybe. And, um, yeah, and then... We've just got an open mic section, so I don't know if there's any. Yeah, I'll jump up and do a little outro. Don't worry. Yeah, so yeah, um, thank you so far, and come back after the Thank you. Thank you. Um, sorry, just to put everyone in on open mic.